The Réunion ibis is an extinct species of ibis that was endemic to the volcanic island of Réunion in the Indian Ocean. The Réunion ibis was mainly white, with this color merging into yellow and gray. The wing tips and plumes of ostrich-like feathers on its rear were black. The neck and legs were long, and the beak was relatively straight and short for an ibis. It was more robust in build than its extant relatives, but was otherwise quite similar to them. Its diet was worms and other items foraged from soil. In the 17th century, it lived in mountainous areas, but it may have been confined to these remote heights by heavy hunting by humans and predation by introduced animals in the more accessible areas of the island. Visitors to Réunion praised its flavor, and therefore sought after its flesh. These factors are believed to have driven the Réunion ibis to extinction. Salvolinus neocomensis is an extinct deepwater trout species only known from three specimens fished in Lake Nucatel. This rare endemic trout lived in the great depths of the lake, below 80 meters. It had fins without white margins and yellowish flanks, which earned it the local name Jonnet. Marquesas swampen is a presumably extinct species of swampen from the Marquesas Islands. It was originally described from 600-year-old subfossil remains from Tawada and Haiva Oa Islands. It may have survived to around 1900, in the lower right corner of Paul Gauguin's 1902 painting La Sorcière de Haiva Oa Ou La Marquesan à la Cape Rouge there is a bird which resembles native descriptions of this bird. Martinique muskrat is an extinct rice rat from Martinique. It was among the largest species of West Indian rice rat and was one of the first Caribbean mammals to become extinct during the 20th century. It may have been aquatic, as it was known to escape into the sea when pursued by predators, but it never swam away from the island. It was common on Martinique until the end of the 19th century, when attempts were made to exterminate it because it was considered to be a pest in the island's coconut plantations. It was also hunted for food. However, due to a strong musky odor, cooking required people to singe off its hair, air out the body overnight and boil it in two batches of water. On May 1902, the volcano Mount Pele erupted, completely destroying the island's principal city of Saint-Pierre. It has been speculated that the rice rat became extinct then or during a later eruption in 1902, but predation by introduced mongooses is more likely to have been the primary cause of its extinction. Not much is known about the Schwazerl pigeon behavior, as it became extinct before significant field observations could be made. It is likely that it was a largely terrestrial species, feeding and nesting near the forest floor. The indigenous people of the town of Vunduchura said that the pigeon would roost in pairs or small groups of three or four in small shrubs close to the ground. The indigenous population believed that the pigeon became extinct due to predation by feral cats and, to a lesser extent, feral dogs. As Schwazerl has no indigenous carnivorous mammals, the ground-dwelling pigeon was particularly susceptible to the introduced cats. The tail of the tule shrew is slightly long and the feet are dusky. It is only known by four specimens collected in September 1905. The Thule shrew was endemic to the El Socorro salt marsh and some noted that this area is essentially dry due to housing construction and that the Thule shrew is likely extinct. The Merriam's elk is an extinct subspecies of elk once found in the arid lands of the southwestern United States, predominantly Arizona. 
Uncontrolled hunting and cattle grazing since the arrival of Europeans had driven the subspecies into extinction around the beginning of the 20th century, with the exact presumed date being 1906. De Winton's golden mole is endemic to South Africa. Its natural habitats are subtropical or tropical dry shrubland, Mediterranean-type shrubby vegetation and sandy shores. It was threatened by habitat destruction. The extinct subspecies Alejandro Selkirk is a medium-sized bird inhabits forests and gardens. It is now classified as extinct. The last sighting of the subspecies was in 1907. The Nendo tube-nosed fruit bat is a megabat from the Santa Cruz group of the Solomon Islands, near the eastern limit of the distribution of tube-nosed fruit bats. It has tube-like nostrils and a wingspan of about 40 centimeters. The species is known from a single female specimen collected in the late 19th century and donated to the Australian Museum, Sydney, in 1892. It apparently was last seen on the island of Santa Cruz in 1907. The human-caused extinction of the tarpon began in southern Europe, possibly in antiquity. While humans had been hunting wild horses since the Paleolithic, during historic times horse meat was an important source of protein for many cultures. As large herbivores, the range of the tarpon was continuously decreased by the increasing human population of the Eurasian continent. Wild horses were further persecuted because they caused damage to hay storages and often took domestic mares from pastures. Furthermore, interbreeding with wild horses was an economic loss for farmers since the foals of such matings were intractable. Tarpons survived the longest in the southern parts of the Russian steppe. By 1880, when most tarpons may have become hybrids, wild horses became very rare. In 1879 the last scientifically confirmed individual was killed. After that, only dubious sightings were documented. As the tarpon horse died out in the wild between 1875 and 1890, the last considered wild mare was accidentally killed during an attempt at capture. The last captive tarpon died in 1909 in a Russian zoo. Beginning in the 1930s, several attempts were made to develop horses that looked like tarpons through selective breeding. The breeds that resulted a primitive appearance, particularly in having the grulo coat color. Some of these horses are now commercially promoted as tarpons. However, those who study the history of the ancient wild horse assert that the word tarpon describes only the true wild horse. 